Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be doing a review on the much raved about e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm going to go over the details, give you a review and of course show you a demo and some swatch comparisons. Now this is described to have full coverage, 16 hour wear, it's lightweight, has a matte finish and it doesn't settle into fine lines or creases. It says you can use this to conceal, correct, contour and highlight. Now I end up grabbing this from Kmart for $10. It is also available on the e.l.f. Australia website. They retail for $15 each and there are nine shades to choose from. Although on the US site, they only retail for $5 each and there are actually 18 shades to choose from. So I end up grabbing two shades. The first one is Fair Warm and this is described for fair skin with yellow undertones. And then I also grabbed Fair Beige which is for fair skin with neutral undertones. I am actually really impressed because these shades are so fair. They do have swatch pictures on the website and they are so completely off. I'll insert them now so you can see. They have a swatch of the concealer wet and then a swatch of it dry. And the two shades that I picked up actually look so different when they are dry. They look really dark and I was like, oh, I don't even think they're going to suit me. So when I got my hands on it and swatched it and let it dry, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised that it did not dry down that dark. So this is what the packaging looks like. Plain and simple. I really like it. It comes with six mils of product and it has a nice large doe foot applicator. Now the coverage on this, as I said, is described to be full and it absolutely is. Can we get an amen? This is probably one of the closest matches to shape tape that I have come across and I don't give out those praises easily. You only need a small amount to get amazing coverage and it also builds really well if you're after a little bit more. It is a matte formula and it does dry down quite quickly so I do suggest only doing one eye at a time. It does dry down well, but I personally still like to set with powder. Now, if you have dry under eyes, you're probably not going to like this. As I said, it is very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, so it is a matte finish and can be quite drying if you've got dry under eyes. All right, let's get into some swatches so you can compare the shades and then I'll insert the demo. All right, so starting off, this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Fair Warm. And this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. As you can see, Fair Warm is so, so light. I do prefer using Fair Beige under my eyes and then a touch of Fair Warm to brighten it up. Here is the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. This is the Cover FX Power Play in N Fair One. Here is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. This is the Colourpop No Filter in Fair 04. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Ivory. So I'm going to firstly go in with the shade Fair Beige. So similar to Shape Tape, this concealer has a thicker consistency. I'm not sure if thick is the right word because it makes it sound really heavy. But as you can see, it's not a super runny, liquidy formula. So I'm just going to take some of this and dot it under my eye and blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. And then I like to go in with the shade Fair Warm, which is a tad lighter and put this in the inner corner. So that is what it looks like. I only used three little dots and the difference in coverage is just amazing. So here is a close up of what it looks like. As I always say, I have super fine lines under my eyes. So literally every concealer settles into those. But this concealer, very similar to how Shape Tape performs, only settles very minimally. It really doesn't need a lot of powder. So I just like to use a brush. Overall, I am so impressed with this product. The coverage is amazing. It feels lightweight under the eyes. It has minimal creasing and the shade range, especially the fair category, is really, really great. E.L.F. as a brand has never really had any products 
that have really stood out to me, but this one is an absolute winner. And if you love a full coverage concealer, then you'll definitely enjoy this one. All right, well, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed watching today. And if you have any more questions, please leave me a comment down below. I feel like there's something I'm missing that I haven't talked about. So leave your questions down below. Also, let me know if you've tried this concealer and what your thoughts are on it as well, because I would love to have a chat about it. If you are new to my channel, then please have a look around and I hope you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content, I will leave my Instagram link down below where you can find more makeup pictures and little Instagram tutorials as well. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.